What's going on, guys? We're gonna draft traditional draft Ravnica Allegiance one more time, one more time, and hope that we can do a little better than we did last time with a two-two. Two-two is not terrible. Mm. There's Oblin. Thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I kind of want to try Lumbering Battlement. But then there's also Shark to Crab. Thank you. Morlock, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You guys are great. You folks are the heroes we need. It's unlikely that you're the heroes we deserve, though. I'm either on Shark to Crab or I just want to give this Lumbering Battlement a try. I'm going to be like... A 4-5 with Vigilance for 5 in Limited is actually great by itself. And if you can exile some guys that comes in to enter the battles of field, enters the battlefield's abilities, <laughs> enters the battlefield abilities, um, you know, a 6-7 is pretty good. Let's try Lumbering Battlement. We'll see how it goes. He liked it. He had a good time. Eyes Everywhere seems great. Wow. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm a big fan of this card, as you guys may know from uh, from anything that I've 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 said about this card. Whether it's my set review on YouTube, or whether you caught freshly brewed the podcast that Ali and Trazi and I do that just went up this week with our pseudo set review. Um, being able to just play this on three, scry every single turn, which adds up over the course of a game, and um, and then you get to exchange control of it with someone. That's pretty good. So, I actually was the high bidder on a piece of art, and I don't know what happened to it. Hold on. Did anyone else bid on it? I didn't get any notifications. Let me just check real quick. Hold on. Uh, went for 400. I didn't, I didn't get any updates. That's really obnoxious. I would have, I would have definitely bid more. Well, that is unfortunate. Two hours ago there were there were posts, but I have no updates in my in my notifications. So that's sad. Anyway, um, the pick here. Uh, the art was. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's harder because with Magic Online, you're just you're just capturing the monitor. But with this, it's actually a program, so I have to actually add the images manually to um, to OBS when I when I want to show something. This was the art. It was it was the original sketch for um, uh, what's the, what's the dude called? Resolute Watchdog. So I mean, it was pretty sweet. I thought it was a great piece. It's eleven by sixteen, so it's pretty sizable. And uh, I thought it would be cool to have. So I bid on that bad boy. But unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Cyborg Yui, welcome back, buddy. It's four months in a row, nearly halfway to our sub, baby. Nearly, nearly, nearly. And what are we taking here? Eyes everywhere. Summary judgment. We can just take a nice removal spell. I want to go with the eyes everywhere. We have not played eyes everywhere yet. But uh, what if we actually take a bunch of grasping thralls? Actually, Orzhov Racketeer seems just too good to pass up, unfortunately. Grasping Thrall is great, though. Racketeers is nice. It's a nice boy. Uh, Ill-gotten gains, Biscopa. We're going to take the consign. We're probably going to put this in the sideboard for now and just focus. We're going to focus on the or the Orzhov. Orzhov, if you will. Carrying Imp? Carrying Imp seems fine. If we go turn four, Carrying Imp, attack for two, and then Lumbering Battlement. And then we have a six, seven. And then if they kill it, we gain another two life. It's not, it's not super exciting, but it's not bad either. We can take Sky Tether. I like a Sky Tether. Vampires are good. We can get a bunch of vampires pretty easily. Is there any green or white cards? We don't actually have to be Orzo. We could do Rakdos here as well, but... And then you get packs like this where you're like, well, this is a really good card. Have the Rack... I mean, this is the second time I've drafted a Racketeer, but every time it's played against me, it's very strong. Uh, Afterlife 2 on cards is just really good. So, like, even if this card was a... A 3-2 blank with Afterlife 2 for 5. It's still probably decent. 10th District Veteran, I guess, is fine. Dead Rebels is also not terrible. Yeah, I hate paying 5 mana for a 3-2, but it does have Afterlife 2. 
Uh, in addition to that, like, it still does have an ability. Like, if they deal combat damage, like, um, I definitely don't think... I'm not going to take a two-drop with a red card. Like, we have no reason to when we have two very decent black and green cards, black and white cards here. I mean, I think this card's actually fine. Getting two guys back, usually your guys are pretty decent with Afterlife. I'm just going to take the Dead Rebels, actually. I put at least 11 Rebels in every black deck. Wow. 11? That's too many, man. Just kidding. I did. I see your correction. I, I want to take light up the stage last pack, but I really like, I mean, I feel like sticking with two colors is probably beneficial for us. Kerwin, what's going on, buddy? Kerwin, I tried all of those Oreos. On point, buddy. That was an awesome, awesome, uh, literal treat. Uh, vampire's pretty okay, I guess. Oh, the knight came back? Wow. I'm going to take the knight here. I think it's fine as having a seven drop. Uh, Ill-Gotten Gains. Inheritance. I always call this Gains. I'm going to take the Ill-Gotten Inheritance. Let's see if we can get a bunch of Ill-Gotten Inheritance and you guys can actually be satisfied. I think this actually looks great for a first, uh... Shut up and take my money. Random question. What kind of microphone are you using? Also, MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. That is correct. <laughs> uh, the microphone I'm using is a Shure SM7B. It is a... Pretty, pretty standard microphone if you guys it's it's in like an industry classic if you guys ever see if you guys watch podcasts or radio shows this is usually what they're going to be using Shut up and take my money. play one game saying only what or okay impersonating little john wow ten dollars for that i could probably do that we'll do that all right let's you, i might forget i'm gonna be honest with you i may forget to do that but it's gonna be i'm gonna try i'm gonna take this two drop i think it's more relevant than uh, i don't need a third consign i don't i think it's better than final payment if you don't have that kind of effect already. So, like, which which we don't. Grotesque Demise? That's actually a pretty good removal spell. I do like this 2-drop, but... I don't know. It's, it's not great. It's just a blocker, right? We can get better 2-drops. Let's take the removal spell. <laughs> do you want a second Vindictive Vampire? Fascinating. Which were the best? Elena Tyrell. Oh, this is Elena Tyrell. Oh, I see what you're saying there. Ah, yes. I want her to know it was me. That's a... What do we got here? How many four drops do we have? Dead Rebel... Dead Rebels is not really a four drop. So we have Carrion, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, and Vindictive Vampire. We could just take a second Vampire. Is that good? Ugh. It's so many four drops, but like... I don't hate Juggler, but like... We want to play it on three, and we have one creature that's going to allow us to do that so far. So I'm not super psyched on it. <laughs> Tell Michael it was me. I want to take the vampire. I think having multiple vampires is pretty strong. Um, I like Plague White. It's just a two-drop that gets in there to trigger your spectacle cards. It's actually very hard to block as well. Yeah, we can take this guy. This is the... um. What's the 2-1? The Oh, let's take a light at the stage. Uh, it's the 2-1 from the other set that dealt a damage to any creature that blocked. Yeah, I passed a lot of good Rakdos cards. Passed a lot of good, a lot of good other cards too. Look, right now I'm passing an Aeromunculus, a Titanic Brawl. That's that's drafted, man. You pass the other good cards. Ornery Goblin. That's what it. That's what it was. I forgot his name. I feel, I felt so bad. Poor guy. Well, neither of these are what we want. I'll take out. Take this just in case. In case we get enough and we want to splash. Oh, another consign. Oh, Sky Tether's great. I'm a fan of one mana removal that deals with big fat dumb idiots. I'll take this. Put this in the sideboard. Why can't I just get one locket on color? I actually don't mind one on color locket. Eh. Probably not playing two noxious Grudians in the main deck. All right, well, the last picks in that pack were not ideal. Sphinx of Foresight is kind of meh. I do like Clear the Stage. Hmm. 
Bankrupt in Blood is interesting. It's not Sphinx, unfortunately. I would like to... I would love to take an on-color rare, but we're going to take Clear the Stage. I think Clear the Stage is great. If you have the 4-drop. We have a Lumbering Battlement. We'll probably have the 4-drop. Ooh, Syndicate Guild Mage. That's nice. Also, Blood Crypt. I'll take the Guild Mage. Sentinel's Mark. Also good. Yeah, the Life Gain has proven to be relevant on the Sentinel's Mark. Surprisingly. Yep. Take a Messenger. Oh wow, another Sentinel's Mark? Okay. I'll take a Blade Juggler this time, actually. We have a we have more two drops now. So I feel more comfortable about it. Do we need another seven drop? I don't think we do. Probably just take the one three. I think the one three is a pretty solid block. Wow, another Sentinel's Mark? Jeez. And another Gatebreaker Ram? We could have had two Gatebreaker Rams. Where's the Justice? Wow, third Vindictive Vampire. Or a third consign the pit. It's probably a third consign the pit here. Um. Also, being able to uh, to use lumbering battlements on our on our blade juggler is pretty nice. Do we have a do we have a carrying imp? We have one, which just leaves us with how many four drops? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not considering dead rebels. I'm not gonna. I mean, we might just take, take Bankrupt in Blood. Bullrack came back. Gatebreaker Ram, sure. I mean, none of these cards are actually going to get played. I'll take this guy. The sideboard. I think this is going to be our deck. I'm okay with it. You guys think transport's okay? 5-3 for 6? Seems rough. How many creatures do we have here? 15? This deck seems actually pretty decent. We have an exposed to daily, second sentinel's mark. Yeah, I don't hate this. Uh, we have played Orzhov before and it actually did well. I think we actually 5-0'd with it. Oh yeah, Keeper. Of course, the Knight of the Last Breath is in our hand again. Just like you do. We have three two-drops though, so. We also have no Guild Gates. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna do the... Okay. Okay, we're doing the... Uh, we're doing water. Okay, we're doing little John here. Okay! I feel like this is going to get real annoying. That's all. That's the only reason I said that. What? Okay. And again, no third land. So, I don't know if I can keep this up for the whole draft. I'm gonna be honest with you; it's it's actually very hard to do. One okay, bug. Okay, yay. I should also be able to do yeah. I think yeah should also be acceptable. Okay, that was nice. See, we're on the same page here. Uh, no, no blocks here. Okay. I mean, 
We're basically dead here, right? Like. Don't have any trick whatsoever. Cool, you had a trick. <sighs> Incoming five drop. Third land, which allows us to do literal nothing. This is what it's like to be dead inside. you're winning in hand size. Well, it's the little things, you know. So they have three, four, five, six, seven mana still. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. I just want to play one draft where we can actually both, uh, that where the where the where the, where the game is decided uh, by strategic plays rather than nonsense. Do you have a green up? Is this a McGill gate? Okay, so you can pump this guy. To the window. To the wall. Funny thing is, this guy still has reach. It doesn't actually lose reach, so... You know. That's cool. I wonder if they'll forget. They won't. Yep. Still get three life, though. I'm okay with it. To the window, to the wall, to the tears cried by my soul. Yeah, scoop, 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 scoop. What are you attacking with? Just this? All right. I'm surprised we're still alive, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, we have two consigned the pits, actually, so if we survive here. Pancakes for everyone?
help. Did it just take six here? Take five, I guess. Hope you don't have another trick. So many tricks. Tricks for days. Tricks are for kids. The number of losses that have come at the hands of decks with arrow, not particularly Aeromunculus, but decks with Aeromunculus. Block here, block here. We take six, we gain three. Sure. Why is it so hard for us to hit lands in our deck? That's what I don't understand. Like, are we doing something wrong? Are we shuffling incorrectly? We could take five and just double block here and actually kill something, which I think is probably better. The alternative is just blocking here and killing a 2 2. Now we take five and gain three. So we go to three. But we're actually. Wait, what? What did I miss? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Should I have a stroke? <laughs> Am I stroking out right now? Did I did I like miss block? Right, two arrow attack. Well, wait, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, were there two arrow monculuses? Why didn't I see that? That's super weird, man. Seven drop in the opening hand and two fucking lands. All right. Well, I guess we're mulliganing. Please, just train accent on your turn. English accent on their turn. Oh my god, I can't do this. This is not reasonable. Sure, I'll keep five land, one, one, two drop. Why not? Yeah, that was ridiculous. They were just both on top of each other, so I just missed them. That's cool. That's a reasonable thing to have happen. Oh, the window to the walls, attacking with kitty cat. Fascinating, yes.
Okay, this could be good. So both are going to kill both, and they can only pump one, so... I hope they block with the incubation druid. That's my hope I have my fingers crossed. Well, they can just take six and discard. It's fine, too. Yep, that's what I was actually hoping you would do. Let me actually fix that. I can actually move that over a little bit. Let's do that. There we go. Deck is cool and I feel cool. Give me one second, I'm going to have to respond to a, a Craigslist text message. I'll keep this. If you keep that up, I'm gonna need some private time. Oh, is that right? Oh, you got it. You quenched my creature, little creature quench in here. Well, that would have been amazing. We could just play this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not gonna be extremely obnoxious in game game winning. Had I seen this in one of the first two games, I would have definitely played that, or brought in the uh, the very real enchantment removal that we have in our sideboard, so. I need you to leave now. All right, we can kill the next thing they play and then play knight. I'm okay with all of this. play two guys, or we can just play Syndicate Messenger. I think it's probably better to play two guys here. That was a back page tech? I don't even know what that means.
Well, I don't think they have a trick. They have a one white, so. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana. That's a good dude. You might say he's the best of dudes. This is actually a great creature to resolve here because not only do we have clear the stage, which triggers off. That was a twofer because that's how I feel right now. Wow, that was actually terrible. Back page and flat. I don't even know what that is. Oh, the ba oh, it's the personal section. Of oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Wow. Wow. Cool. Doing good. Doing good for yourself here. This is a fine trade. Like, we already drew a card off this. It dealt like 6,000 damage, and we're just going to get to kill this. I'm okay with it if it works out. Those are fine creatures to get rid of in that situation. Like, one of the few four, four power creatures that lets this actually be overwhelming. He was accusing you of... Yes, I understand it. I... Is that a post-combat Windstorm Drake? It's fascinating. It's a fascinating decision. It's a, what's known as a bold strategy. Are you going to bounce my three drop? Interesting. Interesting. Eight mana. So you can go five and three. Sure. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna trigger, stupid. And we're not gonna block, right? So we might as well attack. Seems good. We do have to remember that this can untap things, which we always forget, so. Oh, this is some manual tapping here. That's fascinating. Yep, that's fine, I guess. How much does it cost? Four? So they can go... Well, they, don't, they didn't leave a white up for themselves, which is fascinating to me. This guy's not going to do anything outside of trade with this. But, like, is that fine? Probably. I want to live in a world where, where I, I never don't have it. Can I live in that world? I think it's called the never don't have it world. In the words of the immortal bard, Ludacris. Is that what he's going by now? The immortal bard? Oh, look, Incubation Drake. All three games. Seems good. Seems... Top tier, if you will. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You can definitely evolve either of these guys, making a three-five flyer and a four-five flyer. So we have one more consign in our deck. I think we have two of the uh, the lose flying and get defender cards. Those would be nice. 
We have Dead Rebels, which gets cards out of our graveyard back, which would be sweet. There's a lot of cards we can draw. They didn't they didn't play anything and we drew land, so that's cool. So basically Why didn't they attack? I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, there's actually a 5-5 five, five, and there's a 5-5 five, five in combat, so. Yeah, we're basically just dead. It's okay, we're just dead to the high alert deck, it seems. Um, well, I don't want to take nine here, so I guess I will do what's known as uh, a little chump blockage. Another 5-5? Five, five. Seems good. Do they draw lands? I feel like they don't draw any lands. So if they pump this, they just kill us? No, I guess we go to 1. Yeah, high alert's pretty ridiculous, actually. And if, if we seen it in game 1 or 2, we would have actually just been able to um, bring in removal cards that we have for it. Okay. I have a feeling you would do that. So now we can just block one of the fives and take nine. We go to one, but then we gain two. actually pretty dangerous here. <sighs> so if they block all of our things, they could just take two and then block one, right? Block like here. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that's just like... I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> I mean, if they triple block, all the guys die and they go to 6. I don't necessarily think it's a sleeper. I think people are pretty much aware of it. All right. So you take one, two, three, four. And we're dead. Must be dice. Okay, we're back at the back at the O one bracket, guys. Back at the O one bracket. Two color deck. In our in our opening hand again, Night of the Last Breath. We need to go back and figure out all of the games that we played today where Night of the Last Breath was in our opening hand. I think it's probably close to like 80%.
one land hand. I don't actually understand what's happening right now. Like, I'm just, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of over it. Your English-Australian accents were terrible that match. Uh, <laughs> Caspi, you are my favorite, buddy. I'm going to keep this and then just hope that we hit lands, I guess, because what's the alternative? I guess Mulda 5? Eh, what can you do? Magic's hard. Yep. Having a good time. Just alternate between saying blimey and crikey. <laughs> I mean, to, to be fair, that's not a terrible idea. Why do all the cats sound the same? Do you think that's? Do you think it's almost cattist that they all sound the same? Five V is real. Wow. Oh well. Can we just get a black source? Uh, even then, we can just play this and then just go get lands two lands in a row. Come on. Our opponents not do anything. We got good. We got some time. Come on. Don't be like this. Oh, we're so good at this game. Every day is Crocodile Sunday, mate. Every day is Crocodile Sunday. What was that electric? Did you guys hear that electric? Why is this guy making an electric noise? Every day is Crocodile Sunday. Cro a crocodile, if I'm voted governor here, I'd say gonna be a crocodile in every swimming pool, you see. Uh, the thing about Florida is that we don't have crocodiles, we have alligators. And uh, they are different, my friend. You know what? I'm going to block because you want me to block. And then we can just use dead. I don't think that's great. I can just take I can just take this. I don't care. Is, is he? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it not? Oh, look what they had. Wow, and they used it anyway. That's actually pretty funny. They're like, you know what? I'm going to use it anyway. You stupid idiot. <laughs> I feel like I'm winning the race against the aggressive, I'm gonna use my trick anyway, Gruel deck. I think once they did once I didn't block, they're like, dang it, he's onto us. We're never gonna get him with this trick. Sometimes it's for the memes. <laughs> okay, CTB, appreciate it. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all literal about about alligators and crocodiles. As a Florida native though, I get pretty defensive about my homeland. I think it gets a I think it gets a lot of shit. Okay, that's not that's the that's the more innocuous uh, green enchantment you could have in this format. No, nope, you got another one. You tapped out, right? I don't understand this. I'll, I'll accept it though. So I just got to eat that guy. Is what you're saying to me? One hundred bits, bits. All right, all right. I can get behind some one hundred bits, bits. 
Bits Bits was the name of my first dog. That's all Bits Bits. It's not. Give us three main differences and three sub differences between crocs and gators. Wow, that's aggressive. Okay, so uh, crocodiles have longer, thinner snouts. And alligators have broader, uh, broader snouts. I don't, look, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I actually did a report when I was in, pff, God, late elementary school. I was in the gifted program. I don't know if that does anything. I think it just messed me up, really, to be honest with you. Uh, I think it just made me think I, have, I, was, I had to work less to get more. And it, it didn't work. It's actually affected me throughout my entire life. And uh, so I did a report on Egypt. And I did a report versus crocodiles and alligators. So, so ironically, I did actually have... I had a background at some point in knowing the difference between crocodiles and alligators. But it's been a while. It's been a while. They're at five. Same here about the gift of him. That's hilarious. Yeah, like I look back on it and I'm like, all this did was make me feel like I was naturally more talented or intelligent. And I had to, I didn't I shouldn't have had to work as hard to get things that I wanted. And uh that is not how that worked. Power defense, huh? Okay. They died. Okay. So, Exposed to Daylight, I don't think we care about that. I don't think we care about Sentinel's Mark. I think we're actually fine like this. I could see bringing Noxious Grudion just because it's like, it doesn't care about your tricks. Noxious Grudion doesn't care about your tricks. But like, the rest of our deck's also fine. I think we just want to... Do we have 17? 10 and 7, right? Alright. Actually, I didn't even... I didn't even look at this distribution. That's kind of funny. Still 17 lands. I don't know, I don't know what problem is. Hold on. Gotta respond to this game. Can we get this person in now? Hold. Shut them down, open up shop. <sighs> I mean, I'll keep it. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm not going to look a three land hand in the mouth. Okay, hold on. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, another swamp. That's great. We literally just took... You're going to do a little John? No, we're not doing a little John. We're not. It's too hard. It's too hard to keep up for the whole thing because I want to talk. I want to entertain. I want to actually talk about the game. And then I'm like, oh, dang it. I said something. I feel like I ruined it. So then I'm like, oh, God, I should just... I should give this $10 back. And then I feel it's just like... A, it's a whole emotional roller coaster that we go on together. Can I get a white so I can play this into this? That's all I want. Just a white source. You said you would. I said I probably could. And then I tried it and it was real hard. Because then I feel like I'm forcing the what's in the haze. Can you give me give me something else to do? Give me something else to do that's more reasonable. That doesn't like... That doesn't like... Uh, stifle the entire like... The entire point of the draft. You know what I mean? Uh, I've taken improv classes before. But it's not really... I wouldn't say it's that similar. If you were a magician prostitute, would you be a magic trick? Wow, that's... Crikeys and blimeys it is. Oh my god. Wear the green face mask. Yeah, I can do that. That we can do.
These glasses are polarized, so I can't see anything. The screens are totally, like, blurred out. All right, hold on. I got other glasses. Let me grab those. These are some fake zebra wayfarers that I got from uh, a teammate in Pro Tour Honolulu. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Oh, they do have Rhythm of the Wild. Fantastic. Everybody's having a great time. Oh, the old double riot be hey Frank, it's been a little while since I caught you live stream. I've been digging all the Eldrazi decks I need to. I'm considering red, green, or mono, black instead of Eldrazi. I think there's so many Eldrazi options. Eldroptions, if you will. Should I button this? It feels weird being unbuttoned, right? I'll just like. Maybe I am an 80s German guitar player. You don't know. You don't know my life. Well, this is a lot of damage. What is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage? That's what's known as an unreasonable amount. If we hit one more land, we can go exile this guy next this turn. Ideally, we hit a plane so then we can play Prowling Caracal. I'm not gonna... There's no blocking. This side doesn't have, like, Trample, right? Eh, still not gonna block. I can take 10 here. No, not, not a white mana, of course. Why would it be? Sometimes I ask myself, I'm like, is this a white mana? I don't think so. Why would it be? You know what I mean? Now we might block. Well, we'll provide four instead of seven. For like $10, you can get Frank to wear some crazy shit. Act now, is this a limit? I don't know if it's that limited. Oh, should have worn a green top two for floating. Yeah, okay, my bad cat with two heads. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't plan, I didn't prepare enough. To wear this ridiculous nonsense. Look at what is this? What is this? What is this even holding on to? Who knows? Who knows? Well, I was definitely hoping. So there's a, like a three mana enchantments in this set that are actually just stupid busted, like high alert and rhythm of the wild. They're just not fun to play against. Yep, another another non-white card and another non-land. So I guess we can just play this. Try to draw a white land, right? Am I right? Yeah, Rhythm of the Wild is actually disgusting. I guess we could have actually played it for cheaper. I'm actually really bad at this game, but I want to double block. So like, if we don't draw a planes here, like it's really awkward. Plus, if they had a removal spell for this guy, you know what? I don't know, man. We did not draw land, so it actually does not matter. No attacks. But guys, maybe next turn. Do you think it would be easier to put your eye drops in if you trimmed your eyelids? I mean, yes. I mean, I think that would factually be, yes, it would be, it'd be a lot easier. So this guy's gonna get haste. We're gonna double block here. We're gonna lose our board. We're gonna take four and go to one. This guy's gonna trigger, we're gonna go two. And we're gonna have to find a way to deal with this guy on the board and every other haste creature that they have. This is some League of Extraordinary Gentlemen shit. That's fair, I agree with that.
They didn't attack? My god. One Frank the Chill Master buck 20. What is the... Tw oh, that's, the, that's their life total. It looked like there was a 20 underneath there, but that was just our life total. I don't actually know what to do here. Like, the point is... We're just in bad shape here. Are there even any creatures? There's literally no creatures in the graveyard. What a bunch of hot trash. It's probably just better to play this, I guess. I don't even know, man. I just wanted to be in two. So now this guy is an 8-8 eight eight with Trample. Well, that's pretty good, okay. You'd make a good Sean Connery. Well, you know what they say. Oh my god, this was posted in the Discord, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's actually incredible. It's true, though. It is what you're missing. Oh, they can't adapt him, actually. Oh, it doesn't matter. He has trample anyway, so I guess he stays at 6-6. Six, six. Oh, alright. Well, that doesn't matter. All you guys have one. Oh, they have two. So creatures are two? Yeah, I'm dead. Alright. Whatever. Oh, we'll take the daylight. Bring the daylight card in. The daylight. Also, Noxious Grudian again is seems pretty good here. Plague Rite, you can come out because you suck buttholes. You buttholes suck an idiot. I'm going to leave this guy in for the experiment because I want to see if it still hits. Dead Rebels can come out. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get another Night Hand. I need to resub. Let me switch platforms. Llama Goyf, knock yourself out, buddy. Really appreciate it. I pre-appreciate it. I pre-appreciate it. That's where you appreciate something before it happens. Hey, man, you're going to go to the store for me later? I pre-appreciate that. It feels like with as big as Twitch is, there should be an option to subscribe on mobile or like at least Twitch Prime on mobile. I'm not sure which is unavailable. Oh my god, keep it. This is the best hand we've ever had. It's unbelievable. Get him. They probably don't allow subs on mobile to avoid paying App Store fees. Oh, that's actually that actually makes a lot of sense. Wow. Holy smokes, you are the smartest man I've ever met. Which is why you can still do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Get a load of software engineers, man. Look, actually, they probably don't allow it on mobile because of software, um, App Store. Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. You get it. App Store fees. Yeah, that's what I was saying there. Didn't they do it on the mobile? Didn't, couldn't you do it on mobile for a little bit, but then, like, you had to pay, like, it was, like, a little bit extra? Like, it was, like, $6 for a sub instead of $5 or something? It's almost like I do... It is. That's true. It is actually like you do this for work. This is my life now. Get him. Let's do this little vampire. Wow. 
You guys are getting real aggressive in here. Megzies and Chrissies. Oh, wow, we just win. Cool. Cool. I'll take it. All right, I'm going to take the glasses off for the next one. Oh, my God, it's so... F it's real bright. It's real bright. Wow. Well, let's actually switch it so that we have equal numbers. Oh, well, that was instantaneous. You know what's funny? There's only ten. There's ten swamps and seven planes. I'm gonna keep his hand because of that. There's ten ten swampos in our deck, so we have what one in three chance. Can you imagine how good a, a, a swamp would have been there? Because then we could have played this. And then we could just play this the turn after that. And then we'd actually be... This game would be totally different. Yeah, the background's a little... It's a little... Uh, what if I change the background? Hold on. Let's do... Let's do a back to basics one. That probably. Oh, look, a fourth planes. It's okay. Everything's everything is fine. Nothing to see here. Just four planes. <laughs> the HG Wells meme. That's good. That's solid. That's another black card. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! I'm gonna draw the seven drop before I draw a swamp in this deck. This is un this is pretty unbelievable. I'm I'm actually flabbergasted here, but I'm not really because it's getting to a point where I'm almost used to it. You know, it's like this is this is an abusive relationship where like <sighs> where like when you actually draw lands to cast your spells, you actually feel grateful. You're like, wow, thank you so much for just giving me the most basic of. Of cons <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That's all I need to see. So pretty much every deck we this is our fourth round today, our fifth round today, and three out of those matches have had either high alerts or rhythm of the wilds in them. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. Noxious Greedian just seems really good. It just trades with everything. Ten swamps, and we still drew more uh, four planes before we hit. I actually don't even like Sky Tether that much when they have high alert because obvious reasons. <laughs> wasn't it, wasn't Chevy Chase in that movie Memoirs of an Invisible Man? Wasn't Chevy Chase like the main? Yes, yes, he was. I'm gonna try this ill-gotten inheritance. I don't think it's great, right? But but here we are. This game is still in beta, right? Still in beta. Best ten dollars I've spent in the last fifteen minutes. It gets real hot. That's the only reason to take it off is because it gets kind of hot in there. I'm just like, it's a little toasty in this thing. But, uh... You know, you gotta do it for the people. Can we get a swamp? I don't think so. It'll be a... Let's, let's get our fourth planes. Nope, just a four mana white card. Sounds good.
Llama Glyph with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back and go back to bed. Enjoy uh, your enjoy your slumber. We'll miss you. Totally makes sense. What are the odds this gets countered? I think it's 400%. 376%. No, this is what he gets for being initially critical of our new game. Wow. Jesus. It's real. It's so real. My brother shot a movie with Chevy Chase and it said he was super sketchy. Wow, what movie? What does your brother do? Who is the MTG? I don't know. Uh, Watsy, like, Watsy Chris Clay, or I think his name is, uh, actually followed me on Twitch. Probably just keeping tabs on all the, the the arena streamers, I guess. Which makes sense, but... Lucky. Well, we only have one black, so we can't do multiple things this turn, unfortunately. Well, that is literally impossible to deal with. Man, this is... It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> it's been a hell of a day for drafts, ladies and gentlemen. A hell of a day for drafts. Funnily enough, I found Frank from his initial impression. Is that true? I thought you were... I, I thought you went around for longer than that. Again, four out of seven seven planes in our deck. We have seven planes. However, if we were able... Why are we using Ixalan lands instead of Ravnica lands? That's pretty weird, right? If we were able to draw a second black, we could play two things this turn. Because they would total five mana. However, we cannot. So, you know, that's cool. Have you considered not losing? I've considered it. Thus far in my life, I have decided to decline, but I appreciate the, uh, the advice. Oh look, it's high alert. Now they have a two two, a two three, and a two a three three and a five five. So what three four five is just a, it's just basically just plus five. And now Dovin gets to go up to like nine. I guess they're not doing that. Uh, oh, another planes. Five out of... Well, I guess we went up to eight. So five out of eight planes. Still a bit high. I'm going to be honest with you. Still a bit high. Still a bit on the high side. Am I drafting after this? No, I'm probably going to go eat some tacos. Which at this point sounds infinitely better than drafting again. Don't get me wrong. I still like drafting, but... Tacos, I never actually... Uh, I never bite into a taco and I'm like, man, I wish this taco had more onions on it. I wish this taco had more chicken on it. Uh, because I can just get more if I want to. And like Magic Realm, I'm like, man, I wish I had a second swamp or a six drop or a way to play this spell. So they have two cards in hand and a Dovin. 
They could literally just make seven one ones over time with this guy. We have no real recourse for it, so that is unfortunate. I wish my taco had more swamps. You and me both, buddy. Black olives and green peas on tacos? I'm going to have to. Let me. I'm going to let you finish. But. Just don't finish. Look at the top ten cards. You've probably put three of them into your hand. Yeah, that's reasonable. What could possibly go wrong with that? They have no cards in hand? That's interesting. I won't let you finish. That's disgusting. Correct. Oh, another land. Nice. I don't actually see how we win this game. Their Dovin Bond does go to one, but they draw three cards of the the three best cards of their top ten, so. And we have two attackers. And they we like they did they deliberately use this so we don't have two attackers while they have two blockers, so. Friends from Mexico, and that's what they do? Really? Black olives and green peas. I could see black olives. Like, that's in, like, taco salad. Donations bar at 420? Oh, gas. Oh, man. Donation bar is blazing it today, guys. My family's wife is from, my wife's family is from Guatemala and they're disgusted. <laughs> We're having a good time. I want you guys to know that if I was a zebra, I would be the coolest fucking zebra there is. Oh yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Three, four, five. Ten spells? We're actually drawn a, a decent number of spells. I'm just gonna keep going. You think zebras wear zebra sunglasses, or do they wear regular sunglasses? Do you think they find zebra sunglasses offensive? Or respectful? Leave your answers in the comments below. It's cool, guys. This is just a 5-5 five, five unblockable creature, thanks to the high alert. I do wear human sunglasses. They're coming for you guys. You better, you better hide. No attacks. Because, really, we just can't. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine? I think we're dead. What do we do? One, two? This is this a good, a solid one, two draft? I don't feel like it's our decks that are the problem. I feel like we're literally just leading to enchantments like High Alert, Rhythm of the Wild, and Mana. And I, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, I never want to default to, like, blaming, oh, I got Mana screwed, or my opponent top deck so well. Like, I never want to do that. That's such a, you don't learn from that. It's not beneficial to anybody. But you guys have seen these hands, right? Like, it's not. So even if we block this guy, we still take five, six, seven, eight, and we are at three. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it up here. And hope you guys head on over to MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte to pick out your uh, favorite onesie and get 15% off along with free shipping and free return. I Free return. You get free return, okay? I'm going to get my one pack now. Two packs? Wow. My God. The rich get richer, guys. The, the rich get richer. If I, get, if I had any more packs, they would have to put me in the 70% tax pack bracket. Pack tax bracket. That's what we're talking about. But two packs, it's okay. I'm still good. I'm still below the line. It's where you want to be. It's nice and safe. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I love you guys to death. You are the best. I will see you tomorrow, maybe, but definitely on Monday. Maybe tomorrow, but definitely on Monday. And that's how it goes. And I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Hope you have a great weekend. And I hope you slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I hope you check them out on Twitch and Patreon because those links are in the description below. And I hope you guys. Uh, don't put olives and...
What's the other one? Peas? Peas, don't put those on your tacos. And uh hope you guys have a good time. Not with that, not with the peas and the black olives, but with the with your life, just in general. Just have a good life. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. <laughs>